Today, the director of the Department of Epidemiology for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services gave us an update, though, on the big picture of how Michigan is doing in the fight against COVID-19. Overall, it's a story of improvement. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a summary of the key points. Hey, Kim and Devin. Yeah, you know, as many people look to the possibility of restaurants reopening to indoor dining on February 1st, the trends and the numbers are really of great interest. The percent of tests that are positive, the rate of new cases and hospital capacity, they are all moving in the right direction. This graphic looking at statewide trends sums everything up pretty completely. Let's look at each graph individually, starting at the top graph of percent positivity. You can see that it began to decrease in December with a slight bump at the start of January, followed by a decrease again to the current rate of 7.6%. Now looking at the second graph of daily cases per million people, there was a very consistent decrease over December up until roughly Christmas. Since then, the number of new daily cases has stopped going down and has essentially been flat. This is a trend they are watching closely. Now, finally, on the third graph of the daily hospitalization rate, you can see a steady decline since the beginning of January. Now, in this graph of statewide COVID hospitalization trends, you can clearly see a steady drop since the peak that occurred in December. Hospitalizations are still high, but they're moving in the right direction. Now, you can see the decrease in deaths has been especially notable in two age groups, the dashed blue line, over 80-year-olds, and the dashed black line, 70 to 79-year-olds. Now, finally, based on data from the CDC using antibody blood test results, it's estimated that 8.8% of Michigan residents had been infected by SARS-CoV-2 by November of last year. You were most likely to have been infected if you were female and between the ages of 18 and 49 years old. Now, one other thing that was brought up was the status of the Michigan vaccine doses that were found to be unusable because their temperature monitor showed they went out of range. The problem was apparently on the manufacturer end, and they have been replaced. Dr. McGeorge, I'm wondering, did they have any comment on that new coronavirus variant that was just recently found here in Michigan? Yeah, Kim, in fact, they said they are concerned in their monitoring situation. In particular, there was extra concern about what might happen if restrictions are relaxed at the same time that that variant begins to circulate more widely. Unfortunately, only time will tell. Yeah. Back to you. And we know you'll be watching it. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.